Welcome to Staying Active with Coach Taylor. Today we're going to continue with our theme from last week and we're going to do some one minute challenges in our first video. So, if you notice, I am indoors because it is extremely windy outside, about 40 miles to 50 mile winds here in Camarillo today. So, uh, we're going to do some indoor ones. If you noticed, I have some yarn balls. I have five of them. And I have some plates. What I did is I took the plates, I used an X-Acto knife, and I cut out the bottoms. So you take away the bottoms. And now you have an imaginary indoor hole or putting surface or pool table pocket, depending on how you want to do that. You're going to set up the uh, holes or the targets, the plates upside down so you can see it has a little rim that it has to go over so the ball will stay in the hole. I place those about three feet apart from one another and about three feet in front of the plate you will place the balls. I also have a noodle. This one is a square one. It's a little pod shape. I'll be using this as my pull cue. So I'm going to try and shoot the yarn ball into the upside down plate. Okay? And I'm going to see how many times I can go through the course in a one minute period. Okay? And uh, see how many I make. So I can advance from the first hole until I make the yarn ball into the plate. So I'll shoot the green ball. If it doesn't go in, I'll run it back and set it down here again, shoot it again, and so on until I make it. Then I'll advance to the next one, the third one, the fourth one, and the fifth one, and then I'll start back at number one again and see how many I can do. So pause the video for a second. Find something that you can use for a pull cue. You can use a stick. If you just have flat paper plates, that's fine too. You can use ping pong balls. Uh, you can use anything you want. You could actually use this in a kicking format and use soccer kicks for this, but uh, today we want to work on pool shooting. So uh, find a stick or something you can shoot with and shoot that ball into the pocket. So while you're trying to find the equipment, and you could just use uh, upside down plates if they have a little indentation, try and get it to stop on top of it if you want. But otherwise you want to cut out the bottoms so the balls will stay inside the holes. And while you're getting your equipment together, I'm going to go find my one minute stop clock so we can time ourselves and see how we do. All right, hope you're ready to have some fun. Hope you're ready to be active. And I'm looking forward to spending some more time with you. So go find your things, come on back, and we'll get started. All right, I hope you guys are ready to give it a try. I have my clock set up right here. I have my green ball ready to go. So let's give it a try. Set up your area on your mark. Get set. Go. Get into hard enough. What? Oh, not hard enough. Oh, I found number two. I think I should have taken these down, huh? I should have taken these to the floor. on the front of my holes so hopefully the hole doesn't move. I didn't think of that. If you're on carpet I don't think you had the issue but if not we're gonna give it a try so I'm gonna get a piece of tape out put it on the front of each one of these and try it again. So put a little piece of tape there. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. You always have to adapt. So it fits the needs of your location and so that you can do the activity. So put these two back. Get my pull cue. Alright, let's try it again. You guys ready? Got my clock. On your mark. 
Get set. Go. Uh, one. Two. Oh, this way down. Get the back of my stick. Oh, too hard. So at least my holes are not rolling. So I'm doing pretty good. did better hopefully you had some fun and once again you have to make adjustments if you notice I had to take down the holes so they didn't roll but uh, give it a try have some fun with it take a break and get a drink of water if you need it and we'll be back with our second challenge great job our second challenge we're gonna do an activity called ring it once again you're gonna have one minute you're still gonna have the paper plates that you used as holes for our shooting activity, so you should have five of them. Okay, so five of those. We're gonna be using them as frisbees this time, so trying to toss them. I used one of my yarn balls as my target, so I am trying to get the frisbees to go around and catch the yarn ball. I'm using the noodle that I was using in the last, last activity for my pull cue, so if you, use, you were using a mop or a stick, you can lay it as your throwing line. So that's where you're gonna take all your tosses uh, from so I have to stand behind that when I'm tossing my uh, frisbees and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get all five on there within a one minute period Okay, so ten feet away. I have five frisbees Hopefully you guys are ready and up for this challenge. Hopefully you will be coach Taylor But either way, we're just here to have some fun So you can either time yourself like we're doing now for a one minute challenge or you can see how long it takes you to complete the task so either way, you can do it with family members one at a time. You can do it with friends, uh, Zooming uh, and competing with your friends at another location. But uh, we're going to give it a try. So once again, five frisbees that we used made out of paper plates. My clock is ready for one minute. And my target is the yarn ball. So each time I miss one, I have to run and get it. You can do all five tosses to start and then uh, run back with the ones that you miss, which in Coach Taylor's case, we may miss all five to start off. So could be interesting, but either way, it's going to be active and it's going to be fun. All right, hope you guys are up for the challenge. Get ready. All right, are you guys ready for this? On your mark, get set, go. Let's get turn over. total of kind of half a one so half a one twice but either way I worked on my throwing skills I was active I was moving around and I was having fun so great job once again 
clean up this area, come on back and we'll try our next one minute challenge. I wanted to show you a quick variation of the last challenge we did. In this instance, I have the uh, yarn balls set up about a foot apart from one another and there are five of them. So I'm gonna try and complete by capturing the ball with a Frisbee and running it back behind my starting line. So in this activity, you're trying to capture the yarn balls instead of just tossing them on a particular target in a stationary position. You're trying to get a frisbee over it, and once you get it over it, you have captured it. Since uh, I struggled a bit, my challenge might be just to get one to land on it. So if it's landing on top of it, I'm gonna count that as a win. So uh, I need all the help I can get. So you can do this. You can use the climb timer again, or you can just see how long it takes you to capture all six. So good luck, let's give it a try. I'm gonna give myself the one minute. Ready, and go. So, there's one, so I captured that ball. Oh, got that ball, so I can grab those when I come to get it. Oh, it's on there, so I'm gonna count that. I can get it on there or over it. I'm back to those part of the ones. Oh, one left. Didn't get it, but not too bad. So that time around, I was able to get five of the targets. I didn't quite get the last yellow one, but still had some fun. So that's a variation. You can try that one as well. All right, great job. We'll be back in a minute with our third challenge. Back for our next one minute challenge. I have taped a paper plate on the door over here. I have cut out the bottom about three quarters of the way and then folded the other part back up and taped it onto my door so I have a little basketball hoop. I have switched up from my yarn balls to some ping pong balls, which I have right here. And I am using a coaster for cold drinks that I took from the table as my paddle. So for this activity, you can either toss the ball off the wall or bounce it and try and hit it into your basketball hoop. So you're gonna have one minute on your clock you're gonna to need to take or find the basket. If you just have a bucket, I could set a bucket on the floor. So whatever works for you either way. So if you wanna set a bucket on the floor and have a basket, you could do uh, maybe two points for a basket, one for a bucket. It's probably a little easier if you have something on the floor that's a bucket. But whatever you can find, a box, maybe a tissue box, a little tissue box, you could uh, cut out the top and you'd have a little box. A shoe box would work great. A Tupperware bowl would work great. So whatever you happen to have. But once again, working hand-eye coordination, you might want to try, and some, try some shots with your right hand. You might, might want to try some with your left. You might want to do a backhand. So you can try that, but we're going to do a couple rounds. One round with our right hand, and then we're going to try one with our left hand. So you can chase down the ball you're using. I'm using a ping pong ball, so it could get lost under the furniture. So I have a couple backup ones right here that I could grab if needed. And I will have one minute to make as many baskets as I can. Once again, bouncing it off the ground and hitting it. Okay. Or tossing it off the wall and hitting it in there. Okay. So my goal is to make one and see whatever else I can get would be a bonus. But try to get at least one ball in the basket. So that's my goal. You guys are probably going to have a goal of like 10. But you guys are more talented and more skilled than I am. So wish Coach Taylor luck. Hopefully you guys are ready. You can pause the video for just a second while you get set up and find whatever items you want to use. You could use the back of a notepad so and use that as a paddle. You could use a spatula from the kitchen for a paddle. You could use your hand if you want, okay? But whatever works, I'm gonna try the coaster. I think it might be a little hard for ping pong, so my hand would probably be better, but I'm gonna give it a try. All right, pause the video, and when you come on back, we're gonna give it a try. All right, now that you're back, there's my clock. 
Here's my paddle, here's my ball, there's my basketball hoop. I am ready for the challenge. All right, on your mark, get set, go. Ooh, it's so hard. I think I need a softer paddle. Let's try bouncing it. Oh, well. table was able to get four I got on the string finally figured out the technique and that's all about it. we adapt and figure out the new techniques all right that was our forehand or my right hand now we're going to try the left hand so switch the paddle up I'm going to reset my clock there it goes all right you guys ready all right this time we're using our left hand once again you want to switch up your paddle for something that's a little bit softer you can try that i'm going to stay with my hard coaster but you can use whatever you can find all right on your mark get set go you guys enjoyed that one once again if you want to change it up change your paddle change your basket or change the little paddle because a little softer might help and change to a softer ball instead of a bouncy ping pong ball but whatever works for you is great because once again it's all about having fun and staying active all right I'll be right back with you for our fourth challenge hope you guys are up for it and ready get a quick drink of water and come on back for our fourth activity, you are going to need six cups. So I have some cups laid down on their sides right here. You are going to have one minute to try and stand up all six cups only using your feet. So no hands allowed. If it rolls around, that's fine. You can only use your feet. So our goal is to try and get all six cups to stand up. So hopefully you guys are up for the challenge. Hopefully you have six cups. Uh, once again, try to use plastic or party cups, not glass cups. I don't think uh, your parents are going to like that, but uh, lay them out. Uh, if you have some carpet, great. They're not going to roll around as much. I'm on a wood floor, so it may start rolling, but I sort of lay them down. Uh, going to give this a try. I haven't tried this before, so this should be fun. Uh, I'm just wearing my socks, no shoes, but uh, you can wear shoes if you want. And uh, we're going to give it a try, so go find your six cups. Come on back, spread them out. I put them about a foot and a half apart just so I have a little space between each one. And my goal is to get all six standing up. All right, so this one's called Stand Up. And we're gonna give it a try. All right, pause the video. Come on back as soon as you're ready. I'm gonna go over by the clock and uh, start the video when you get back. All right, good luck. All right, you guys ready for this one? All right, on your mark, get set, go. Oh, 
there but once again once the cups got rolling around that last one I struggled with a little bit the minute is still going so you got a couple seconds left but I uh, hope you had some fun with that you can change it up you could just do one cup and see how many times you can get it back up maybe going from standing up to flipping upside down standing up flipping upside down see how many times you can do that one but just a fun variation but using we used our hand eye coordination for the last video with our basket so this one we are using our feet and uh, once again, just trying to stay active and have some fun. All right.